Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be dissecting the CleanCore Automated Recruiting System for Independent Contractors. Now, keep in mind, this is just one example, and this is just one system, one way to do it, all right? So there's more than one way to skin a cat, and what you can do is you can take what I've built, tweak it to your liking, and then roll with it, all right? So don't get caught up on the details here. What I wanna show you today is just the overall system. Think about this as a 10,000 foot view on how you could potentially go about recruiting independent contractors for your cleaning company. So let's dive right in. I'm going to be, as I said, dissecting the system that I created for CleanCore, all right? And it's going to uh, take into account some text message templates, email templates. It's going to have a calendar sequence that we're gonna go over here in just a second. Uh, we're going to be using things like the funnel builder, the workflow builder, uh, and things of that nature. So let's dive right in. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to calendars. Whenever we're building a system like this one, for example, we want our independent contractors to be able to book an appointment with us. Whether we call that an interview or not, that's completely up to you. You can see here I have one calendar called recruiting. Now, if you wanted to, you can go in and edit the details of this calendar. Some of the details that you might want to edit could include like the name, the appointment title, the color, uh, link it to a specific Google calendar, for example. Going over to availability, how long do you want these interviews to last? What days do you want them to be able to book on? And what times do you want them to be able to book for on those days? All right, so again, this is pretty self-explanatory. I don't think that I need to dive into too much detail here. All right, so let me exit out of that. First and foremost, we're gonna set up a calendar because we're gonna be using that later. Now going back, what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to Sites and we're gonna go to Form Builder. All right, so you can see some forms here that we have. And uh, let me just mention really quickly so that I don't forget to mention in this video, if you're interested in this, everything I'm showing you today, then if you sign up for a CleanCore account, you will automatically get everything that you see here. In fact, this location here is called Best Cleaning Company and it is our snapshot location, meaning that when you sign up for a CleanCore account, everything in here and more is actually going to get automatically loaded into your account. So just keep that in mind. All right, so here we go. Let's scroll down a little bit. You can see here, IC stands for independent contractor. We have an apply now form, an onboarding step. Uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna show you this one real quick. All right, here we go. You can see this form here has a transparent background and uh, you'll see why later, but you can add simple text to this form just by dragging and dropping a text element over here. And then we have first name, last name, phone and email. Now you're going to definitely want one of these on every single one of your forms. This is called a contact identifier. It's what's going to identify that contact. So you can have an email that switches. You can have names that may change in the future, but your phone and your email are going to basically identify that contact. So make sure you have at least one of those on every single form and survey that you build. And then of course we have a section here where they can upload a resume. And the way that we find that upload is we went to contact or we went to custom fields here and we can add custom fields. And you can see right here that one of those that we can build is called file upload. So we can use this file upload field to request things like resumes, uh, general liability insurance, other sort of agreements and documents. If we want that contact to uh, go ahead and upload something for us, this is called a capture or recapture just to make sure that they're not a robot. And then our submit button, every form needs a submit button or else it won't work. So if I go to standard fields here and scroll down, you can see the button here. These are all just drag and drop like so. All right, so let me go back out of the form now. Let's quickly jump to surveys. All right, you can see we have our recruiting survey here for independent contractors. And there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do in terms of surveys. So this software, again, pretty much like replaces other survey builders like Survey Gizmo or uh, whatever it's called in Typeform, for example. So we can build really cool, unique surveys in here, add images, text, and then, of course, our questions. And so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and build your survey out uh, to ask the questions that you want to ask. And think of this as a qualification or pre-qualification disqualification step all right so this is really where the magic happens in terms of filtering out applicants that maybe 
aren't so serious about the opportunity that we're presenting or they don't have the necessary qualifications to work with our cleaning company. All right, so we've gone over the calendar. We've gone over the form, the Apply Now form. We've gone over the pre-qualification survey. What's next? Let's go over here to Funnels. Don't need to save anything. And let's go here to Recruiting Independent Contractors. We have two funnels here for recruiting and onboarding. Let's go to Recruiting. And you can see here we have a series of steps. So there are five steps in this funnel. Each one of these is a separate landing page. And so a series of landing pages makes up a funnel. You've probably heard me say that in the past. And here we go. Starting out at the top, we have our Apply Now step. This is where our Apply Now form that you just saw is going to go. So on this step, we're going to have that Apply Now form. We're also going to have our job description. So our job post will be on this page. Next step here is going to be the survey step. So it's just a landing page hosted on some sort of a domain or subdomain, as you can see here. And we're going to play, we're going to paste, sorry, that survey right here. The next step, if they're qualified, they're going to go to the calendar. So again, you recall from the beginning of this video where we showed you the calendar, this is where we're going to use that. And of course, once they book, we send them to a nice little thank you page, your appointment's confirmed, blah, blah, blah. However, if they are not qualified, they will find themselves on a page that looks like this. And it's basically going to tell them, uh, thanks for applying. However, we decided to pursue other more qualified candidates at this time. You're not eligible to work with a company for a variety of reasons, A, B, C, or D. Uh, however, if this was a mistake, click the button below and retake the survey. Because we don't want to count anybody out if they uh, accidentally click something, right? So this is what a basic recruiting funnel looks like. So what's going to happen is you're going to be able to go here to the Apply Now form. You're going to be able to tweak this accordingly. Make sure that you change out the job post copy on here to reflect something that, I guess, accurately identifies your cleaning company and the opportunity that you are offering to new cleaners. And then what you can do is on this step two, you can take the URL here. I'm not sure why it's taking so long to load, but you can take the URL here once you add your domain right here and you can paste this on your indeed ads facebook job posts um, career builder zip recruiter you anywhere that you're posting jobs craigslist facebook anywhere you can put this link and have people enter the funnel so let me open this up really quick and show you a little bit about what i'm talking about so you can see here this is actually designed to pull in your company name as well as your current location. When they kind of click the apply now button, you can see this form pops up. This is the form that we saw earlier. And it was transparent because we have this cool little graphic. Uh, you may not think it's too cool, but we have this graphic in the background. So there you go. Once they apply here, select this, click submit, they're going to move on to that next stage, which if you recall, is the survey step. So let's go back here. This is the beginning. All right. Ultimately, we want qualified candidates who know this is a 1099 position, who understand that they will be a 1099 independent contractor. They need all their supplies and equipment. And what you'll do is you're going to interview these candidates and you're going to find which ones you want to extend an offer to join your team. So if I go over here to opportunities, this is where our pipeline lies. And you're not going to see anything here, but uh, once they apply, they'll land here in the new call, new applicant stage, sorry. And then once they complete that survey, the pre-qualification survey, they'll find themselves right here, automatically placed in the completed survey step. At this point, they're going to be prompted by the Clean Core system to go ahead and book a call. This is the interview with you. Once they do that, the system is automatically going to move them to this stage in the pipeline. So at any time, you can visit this pipeline in the Opportunities tab and see where people are at, all right? Once you have a call with them, if this is someone that you want to extend an offer to join your team, it's as easy as click, drag, drop, and then there's going to be some text messages and emails that fire off. Again, everything here is 100% customizable. And once these text messages and emails go out, what they're going to do is they're going to either click the link to get started with the onboarding, or they're going to not join your company, <laughs> not join your team. It's as simple as that. And then of course, you guessed it over here on the reject applicant stage. If this is someone that you talk to that for whatever reason, you do not want to extend an offer to join your team, you can place them over here in the reject applicant column. 
and they are going to get a professional denial email text message basically saying you know, something along the lines of thank you for applying however at this time we decided to pursue more qualified candidates something like that again you can customize this to whatever you want but there is something there in case you don't want to do anything you just want to roll the system it is ready to go all right so now that we've talked about the form surveys calendars landing pages the funnel that they work through for recruiting and the pipeline that kind of manages it all and uh, has a little one-step action that you can take here what happens next what happens to those individuals that you want to extend an offer to and then take the extra step to go ahead and start onboarding with your cleaning company what happens well there's an onboarding step so let's go back over here to sites really quick recruiting for independent contractors let's click on the onboarding funnel this time and let's have a look so you can see here this one is four steps and there's a lot more that actually happens in the background we're going to integrate this with another e-signature software called PandaDoc but essentially what we're doing is we have a get started page that's hosted on the same subdomain and this let me just open this up and show you exactly what this looks like real quick. You can see here, clean color, ready to get started. We're going to get the EIN number. There's a video showing them how to do that. We're going to request the onboarding packet. And then this right here is going to have our independent contractor agreement through Panadoc, our non-solicitation agreement. It's going to have the opportunity, it's going to give them the opportunity to upload their general liability insurance. If they don't have general liability insurance, there's links in here on where they can get multiple quotes for that so that they can pick the provider that suits them best. And then after that, once they submit the onboarding packet, you get a copy, they get a copy. They're going to then get access to orientation videos. So we have an independent contractor orientation course that we're building out for this so that your independent contractors can learn, just brush up their skills on cleaning, learn how to invoice you, learn how to use service software that we recommend. And again, this is just what we're building on the systems that we currently use. You can customize this yourself and send them to your own training course or orientation videos if that's something that you even want to do. Okay, so as soon as they click get started, it's going to take them to that second step in the funnel where they can get their EIN number. And there's a video here right there on the funnel on the landing page that shows them how to get a free EIN number on the irs.gov website. And of course, we link to it right here. All right, so let's go back to clean core. That's this step here. Uh, once they get their EIN and they go to step two, they're going to request the onboarding packet, which if you'll remember, has the things like the independent contractor agreement, the non-solicitation agreement. And then, of course, once they do that, they'll get just a basic thank you page, success page, way to go, continue on with the process with another video showing them exactly how they need to go about filling out that independent contractor agreement. In fact, the whole onboarding packet for that matter. Okay. So now that is the recruiting system in a nutshell. The only thing left to show you in deconstructing this whole system is the automation behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and click on the automation tab over here. And you can see we have different folders with a bunch of different automation workflows. Workflow Builder is the, by far the most complex feature of the Clean Core system. However, it's the most powerful feature. Again, I already mentioned it, but this is where the magic happens. All right, so you can see recruiting independent contractors inbound and then recruiting independent contractors onboarding. Let me go ahead and click on the onboarding stage for you here. So remember in that pipeline where we drag them and drop them over to the extend offer section of the pipeline, it's going to send them a link to get started with the onboarding. But how does that link get sent to them in the first place? It's through automation, through the workflows here. So if I click on this one, you're going to see exactly how we're going to do that. With all workflows, there has to be some sort of a trigger. In fact, I'll take that back. There doesn't have to be a trigger. If you're using a third-party software like Zapier, for example, you can automatically add contacts to a certain workflow. So there can be, uh, there doesn't have to be a trigger here, but if you're working within the system, in this case, we are. We have the pipeline built within CleanCore, so we're working within the system. We're going to have some sort of a trigger right up here at the top. So if I click on this, you'll see when the pipeline stage changes, filter it down a little bit further. Okay, what pipeline? Specifically, our recruiting for independent contractors pipeline, because if you'll see, we have multiple here. Okay, oops. Let's take it a step further. Okay, what stage within this pipeline? the extend offer stage. So when the pipeline stage changes in this pipeline to this step, 
what happens? That's what's going to trigger this entire workflow to kick off. So first and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to send them a text message. Hey, first name, we think you'd be a great addition to our company's team. We'd love for you to join forces and start taking jobs right away. To move forward with the onboarding process, click the link below to get started. Now these are called custom values found right here. You can have pre-built custom values that are based on the CRM functions within CleanCore. And you can have your own custom, custom values like what you see here. All right, so adding custom values allows us to pre-fill in certain information that we can adjust in the settings. All right, and then of course, some sort of like a little quick text signature, first name, last name, location name, and then click save. So they're gonna get a text. They're gonna get an email. This is a templated email. I'll show you exactly where we build those in just a second. We're gonna wait one minute, and then we're gonna send us a notification. We just sent the onboarding link to contact name. All right, so that's an example of one workflow. Now we have workflows for pretty much everything. So extending offers, sending the onboarding packet. What happens when it gets signed? What do we want to do to continue with the onboarding? What happens when we reject an applicant? Going back, inbound, if you remember from the beginning of the process, what happens when we get a new applicant? What happens when they submit the survey? We want to prompt them to book at that interview, right? So the workflows is really where the magic happens. And you can access the workflows in your Clean Core account and tweak any of this stuff, okay? So I mentioned that I was going to show you the email templates. So let's go ahead and do that before we wrap up this video. I'm going to go over to marketing over here on the left-hand side. You can see we have a few different options up here. What I want to do is I want to hover over emails and go to templates. Now this functionality, the campaigns and templates under the emails tab, pretty much replaces like MailChimp, for example. If you're familiar with the MailChimp software, this is a great replacement for that. It's built right into your CleanCore account. All right, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna click on a folder called Recruiting for Independent Contractors. And let's click on one just as an example. I'm gonna click on this one. And you're gonna see that this is a drag and drop builder where we can create professional looking emails, including unsubscribe footers uh, with other information on it, call to action buttons, custom text. Again, you can see we're pulling in custom values here, just like we were earlier in the workflow builder. And so, yeah, you can create custom emails like this that are going to go out to your applicants. So that's not just a text email. We have styling involved. Okay. Again, click on the element, edit it over here to your liking. Let's go back. And I think that's pretty much all I want to cover in this video. Again, the clean core automated recruiting system is super powerful a because we can have forms surveys some sort of a system pre-qualification disqualification process using our forms and surveys and using our funnels and landing pages now before i uh in this video i do want to mention and give you some other ideas of what you could potentially do with this you may have already seen this up here recruiting for vas yes if you get 100 200 applications for someone wanting to be your va how do you sort through all those applications? Well, you can get creative and use CleanCore as your filter to find or do your best to find those A players to join your team. And in fact, as I mentioned, you're going to get all of this as soon as you sign up for a CleanCore account. We've used this uh, a lot in the past and it works really, really well. So I hope this video was helpful. We kind of ran through everything pretty fast, but hopefully you get an idea of how to build things in CleanCore. Let your mind wander, get in there, play around with it a little bit, and reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.